My name is Esteban Sanchez, I'm from Colombia, and I'm a newcomer here in Moncton, New Brunswick. So I came to Moncton in December 2021, pretty much in the middle of the winter, it was a little bit harsh. Uh, it was a memorable experience. I am here with my family, my wife is here, she's from Ecuador, uh, but we decided to move together to Canada. The rest of my family is scattered around Colombia, Europe, and obviously Ecuador because my wife's family is my family as well. So, but yeah, my partner is here with me. So I was fortunate enough to get a job here in marketing, uh, which is something I was doing back home as well. So pretty much I do marketing strategy, automation, I run digital campaigns and everything related to digital marketing. And that's what I'm doing here at the moment. My first few days in Moncton were a little bit complicated, I'll be honest. Uh, it was during COVID, so we had to quarantine for a bit. It was the middle of winter. Uh, finding transportation was a bit hard, you know, walking in the snow, going to do your grocery shopping with, you know, in the middle of a, not of a snowstorm, but of a lot of snow. That was complicated. Uh, but definitely as the days went by, I started feeling more and more comfortable. I like about Moncton that you get a lot of blue skies usually it's kind of sunny and the weather is mild for, for Canadian standards I would say I like that and I like that there's a lot of opportunity for new business and for starting new ideas there's a lot of opportunity for growth and that people are very friendly as well and they're willing to welcome you to the community I miss about Colombia probably the warmth of the people. People are very friendly. It's a very customer service oriented culture. So I miss a little bit of that. And I would say that I miss the city a little bit too, because I'm from a big city. Bogota is like a 10 million people city. And obviously Moncton is, is way smaller than that. I and mean, it still feels like a small city. So that change has been a bit of a shock for me, but we're getting used to it as we go. So for my free time, I drink a lot of coffee. I'm a big coffee drinker, so I like going to coffee shops and just hanging around, read books and do some studying as well. And I like to play sports a little bit. So sometimes I play uh, some football uh, or soccer. <laughs> I like also, you know, walking in the parks and I like jogging a little bit because that's something that my wife enjoys a lot. So we do it a lot in the summer, in the winter, well, not that much. My advice would be try to be ready for this experience. Try to talk to somebody that maybe had this experience in the past. Try to know as much as you can about the place you're going to. Because uh, at least from my experience, it was tempting just to say, hey, I'm going to Canada. It's a better place than where I'm at right now. But it is good to do your research and to know that Moncton, for example, it's a small city, that uh, certain industries are thriving more than others here in New Brunswick, like doing all of that research and preparation, uh, it's very important so that you know where you're coming and you are more ready for the challenges that you're gonna face here. I think that Canada is a country that offers a lot of rewards and you're gonna get rewarded when you get here, but it's also gonna challenge you and you're gonna have to get out of your comfort zone, you're gonna have to face the cold, you're going to have to face a new language because even though if you speak English, it is a challenge to, you know, live 24 seven in English, interact in English, even try to be funny in English and, you know, yeah, just meet your coworkers and mingle with them in a different language is, is not as easy as it seems. So that's definitely a challenge. Uh, adapting to the culture, to the ways of doing things here, to what they like and what they don't like. That's obviously an initial challenge. Um, getting used to how all of the paperwork here it's been done like you need to spend a couple of hours in service New Brunswick here, for example, service Canada as well, doing all of the paperwork. Um, and that's obviously a challenge when you land, right? Because you want to settle in as, as quick as possible. Uh, but there is a lot of paperwork involved. Uh, and if you don't come as a PR, which was, for example, my case, uh, you're going to hustle a little bit to be able to secure your status. And that's also a challenge but it's going to be very rewarding once you once you get that PR status. So we've talked about language, we've talked about culture a little bit. That's a challenge adapting to the culture. 
um, paperwork is a challenge too. Um, in, here in Moncton, in particular, housing is becoming a challenge as well. We're in the middle of a housing crisis. Um, so the prices of the rent have been going up. Interest rates are also very high at the moment. Um, and this is probably very likely to change in the future. But at the moment, it's hard to secure decent housing without you know, having to spend a big portion of your budget. So that's something you need to consider here. Uh, the housing issue, the transportation. So don't expect, for example, Moncton or even any of the three cities in New Brunswick to be transportation friendly. You probably need a car to move around here. And trust me, your life changes a lot when you get a car here in New Brunswick. You go to different places, you enjoy it more. Um, but at the beginning, you're going to struggle a little bit with that, especially if you're used to a city where you just had your metro card or whatever, you took the bus and that took you everywhere and you didn't need a car. Um, for us, a car here, for my wife and I, it was not a luxury, it was kind of a necessity. Like, you need to have a car in here. So that's another challenge. And, well, if you don't like the cold, <laughs> the winter is going to be a challenge as well. Um, but nothing you can't get used to as well. Okay, so one word to describe Canada, I would say opportunity because it's an opportunity that you're given to, to come here and to make the most out of this experience. There are things that you're going to hate, there are things that you're going to love, but it's just an opportunity that it's presented to you and you have to make the most out of it.